Hi, this is Venkat Narayana from Sunya Technologies. Today I am going to discuss about Fibonacci series using recursion in C++. This is continuation for part 1, Fibonacci series in C++. Please go through the previous video before going through this video. What is Fibonacci series? The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where the next term is the sum of previous two terms. What is recursion? The function calls itself from its body is called recursion. The formula to calculate Fibonacci sequence is f of n equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. The default value for Fibonacci sequence are 0 and 1. In this table, if you want to calculate f of 5, then f of 3 plus f of 4. f of 3 is equal to 2, f of 4 is equal to 3, then f of 5 is equal to 2 plus 3, 5. Below is the Fibonacci sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5 and so on. If you want to get 1, then 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 3, 5 and so on. We are going to discuss two approaches for Fibonacci sequence. We will discuss this logic in Visual Studio, launch Visual Studio and create C++ application. First step is we need to read input from command prompt int input c out please provide number of terms c in input we need to read multiple values from Fibonacci series use for loop for for loop contains three things installation condition checking increment or decrement int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to input i plus plus here we need to call Fibonacci method still we didn't create Fibonacci method Fibonacci of input now we will provide implementation of Fibonacci method int Fibonacci of int input here this Fibonacci method taking input as parameter and returning integer if input equal to 0 or input equal to 1 we need to return input return input else return Fibonacci of input minus 1 plus Fibonacci of input minus 2 Fibonacci of i. So here Fibonacci method returning integer we need to store output in integer variable int result c out result inside for loop here we created Fibonacci method and pass i value as a input. Now we will execute this program without debugging that means control f5 please provide number of terms 5 enter and here we are getting output as 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. But Fibonacci sequence starts from 0. Here we will change logic. In the place of i is equal to 1, we will change to 0. Control F5. Please provide number of terms 5. And here we are getting output as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. But here we have one problem. We need to get 5 values only, but we are getting 6 values. So, we need to change logic. So, declare another variable j and assign 0. Here in the place of passing i value, pass j value. Now, increment j value, j plus plus, control F5, 4, enter. We are getting output as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Still, we are getting wrong. Here we need to change logic in the place of 0, change to 1. Control F5, 4, enter. We are getting output 0, 1, 1, 2. And here we are getting correct output. Control F5, 10, enter. And we are getting output as 0, 1, 1, up to 34. And we are getting 10 items. We will discuss this logic over debugging. Put breakpoint here, here. Then go to debug. Click on start debugging or F5, later click step into or F11. Start debugging, F11, please provide number of terms, 3, enter, int i is equal to 1, 1 less than or equal to 3, true, F11, 
here j is equal to 0, we are passing 0, input equal to 0 or input is equal to 1, we need to return input, uh, so return 0, result is equal to 0 and print that result 0, then j incremented by 1, now j is equal to 1, Fibonacci of 1, input is equal to 1, if input is equal to 1, return input, result is equal to 1, f11, and your output is 1, f11, now j is equal to 2, Fibonacci of 2, 2, input is equal to 2, then it will go to else part, here Fibonacci of 2 minus 1 plus Fibonacci of 2 minus 2, that means it will calculate f of 1 plus f of 2, return, and return one more time, now result 1, print result, here we have 0, 1, 1, now j is equal to 3, here i is equal to 3, 3 less than or equal to 3, true, we are getting output as 0, 1, 1. Now we are going to discuss another logic, remove this code, remove this code. So now we need to create Fibonacci method, Fibonacci of input. Now we need to implement Fibonacci method, void Fibonacci of int input. Here we need to declare static variables, static int previous equal to 0 comma next equal to 1 comma temp. We need to check condition if input greater than 0, see out previous and white space, then we need to swap the values temp equal to previous plus next previous equal to next next equal to temp. Later we need to call Fibonacci method recursively, Fibonacci of input minus 1. Now we will execute this program without debugging, that means control F5, 5, enter, we are getting output as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. We will execute this program through debugging, put breakpoint here and here, go to debug, click on start debugging or F5. F11, get the value from command prompt, here 4, enter, Fibonacci of 4, then here we have 3 variables, previous is equal to 0, next is equal to 1, temp, 4 greater than 0, true, see out previous, here output as 0, then temp is equal to previous plus next, previous is equal to next, next is equal to temp, then we are calling Fibonacci of input minus 1. Input is equal to 4, 4 minus 1, that means 3. Here input is equal to 3. 3 greater than 0, true. Then it will continue. Here input is equal to 1. 1 minus 1, 0. Here input is equal to 0. If input greater than 0, that means 0 greater than 0, false. It will exit from if condition. And here we have output as 0, 1, 1, 2. Control F5, 10, enter and we are getting output as 0, 1, 1 and so on up to 34. We have few disadvantages with uh, recursive methods. For example, if you want to calculate f of 5, f of 5 equal to f of 4 plus f of 3. On left side, f of 4 is equal to f of 3 plus f of 2. f of 3 is equal to f of 2 plus f of 1. f of 2 is equal to f of 1 plus f of 0. Here, f of 2 is equal to f of 1 plus f of 0. On right side, f of 3 is equal to f of 2 plus f of 1, f of 2 is equal to f of 1 plus f of 0. In this recursive function, we are calling same function multiple times. For example, here f of 1 calculate multiple times like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. f of 2 executed multiple times like 1, 2, 3. f of 3 executed 2 times 1, 2. Due to this process, processor will consume more process time and also it will be difficult to execute code in debug mode. To overcome recursive problem, we can go to dynamic programming. We will discuss dynamic programming in next video sessions. That's it for today. 
If you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.